Ah, oh, running. You be a fickle mistress, you do be. There's do anyway. I was supposed to go out on a run this morning. I was really excited about it. It's my Sunday long run, but I have to. I have to listen to my own advice that I give you, and that is that my ankle is just on the verge. It's stiff. It's tight. It's sensible not to go. So I'm going to give it another day's rest. I was supposed to go with Mary, but you can come with me anyway. And I've got some things to update you on. Hold it. If you're new to the channel or you just need a little recap montage, then here it is. Mary is actually the one on the channel that people like. Starting with 5 and 10 Ks, she's worked her way up through half marathons. Her best is 134 and she's hunting down 130. And then earlier this year, before the madness, she ran a 336 marathon in Seville, which actually qualified her for London and New York marathons. But after setting her goals at the start of the summer, things might be changing. And we're here to help you learn how to roll with the punches. Over to you, Mary. Hopefully 16 kilometers, but I'll just see how it goes. Just trying to find my way. Um, yeah, it's super hot, it's 7.30 in the morning. So I've got to be sensible, I've got my hydration, I've got a gel. Fingers crossed it feels all right. I've been battling with a lot of tiredness and struggling with my running, but I'll tell you more about that later. Pretty good run views. I better get going. Since lockdown and having loads of extra work, pretty stressful time. Uh, but out of a rhythm, out of consistency, and struggling to get it back. Basically, lost my mojo. <laughs> update on this run. I felt all right but it is way too hot. I think I got a bit excited filming and looking at those beautiful beaches and the time's crept away. The temperature is so high. I feel like my skin's burning so I think if I carry on I'm gonna do myself some damage and ruin the day. So 12 kilometers, call it a day and this is a first. I'm going home via Uber on a run. I tell you what, Mayor, you definitely did the right thing stopping that run early today. Oh, it's so hot. It is boiling. I'm melting. So hot and sticky. So there could be like a hundred different ways you can lose your running mojo. There's, I've lost mine a number of times, but yours in particular revolved around how hard you had to work over the lockdown, being teachers. Mm. You weren't able to run, were you? There was no option really because it was just so busy you know. and, well you were getting up and working until 10 going to sleep and doing the same and finding that time to run and once you get out of the pattern that's what it is isn't it as soon as you get out of the pattern you kind of you do lose that certain what's the word it's like momentum i guess isn't it yeah and then when you i don't know when it is the weekend then you just want to sleep you're exhausted you're exhausted it was a time like no other so no, and you found it really really hard now to get that traction again to get going again to get that momentum but we have a plan right yeah it, everything's been so hard and it almost feels like oh I just can't run it's too hard but and I guess the point is that we will have all been going through similar struggles whether it be work mm. or something else you will have all faced a time in your life or if you haven't just trust me it's coming where you're gonna find it hard and you're gonna feel like running is not clicking and you're gonna lose your mojo but we're here to tell you that you can get it back and I hope so. we're going to show you how we <laughs> think you can get it back.
go back. So I think I haven't told you yet how I'm getting my mojo back. But basically, I asked Ben to make me a new plan, or he offered really. Uh, and oh, sprinkler. Oh, feeling like I'm starting again really. And I just need to get the consistency in. So no pressure on times or anything like that. It's just about consistently running in zone two at base pace. Just to get that fitness back. Start feeling good again. Bye bye. And just like that, the holiday is over. We're heading home, back to Gatwick into what I hear is beautiful weather. That's a lie, it's not beautiful. And on my way home, I'm gonna run you through the three main things I'm doing that I think are gonna help Mary get her mojo back. Right, Mary? I hope so. So if you follow the channel, then you won't be surprised to know that the first thing that I did for Mary was I gave her consistency. It was as simple as just making sure that I'd planned way ahead of time in training peaks for her. She knew what sessions she had to do and on what days. For me, consistency is totally king. It works. Secondly, I'm employing gradual overload for Mary. And what I mean by that is that I'm gradually building her mileage or her intensity, sometimes both each week, but I'm doing it safely and I'm doing it in a periodized way. So it's three weeks of hard work and one week of recovery and repeat so that it's safe and we remain uninjured. But it also, with gradual build, you feel like you're building towards something. You feel like it's safe, but you're moving forwards. Right, Mayor? Yep. The third thing I'm doing is I'm reinstalling Mary's sense of purpose. So while she did at the start of the summer have some goals that can no longer be fulfilled, she has new ones and she's working towards those. And that is exciting and it's holding her accountable and it's making that passion burn that little bit more inside because she knows she's working towards something. But I'm gonna let her explain what her new goals are on her next run, which will be tomorrow morning be the next time you see her. Over to you, Mary. Back home running in much more comfortable temperatures uh, with Winnie <laughs> reunited and I've got new goals so I'm just going to share those with you um, originally I was thinking I was working towards the Paddock Wood Half Marathon in September and I was going to try for my sub 130 goal again but that race has been cancelled and with um, the busyness of June I lost my training at the right time so I've changed my goal and I think it's much more relevant to where I need to be in my longer term goals and I'm really excited about it. new goal is that I'm running the New York Marathon on the day but not in New York so I think most of you know that Ben and I had spaces in the New York Marathon this year which was so exciting but obviously the race has been cancelled so I thought after chatting with Ben that we should still train for it and run a marathon on that day. And I'm really excited about that. Gives me a really clear goal. I've got enough time to get ready. And it fits in with my other plans because the time I ran in Seville means I qualify for a good race spot for London. So hopefully I can apply for next year and therefore running a marathon in November is good preparation for my long-term goals. So I already feel two weeks in, like I'm moving forward again with my running and my mojo is definitely creeping back. So just got to stick with it, be consistent and enjoy. And that 
is how we're planning to get Mary's mojo back. And it isn't going to be easy. So if you've lost your mojo, know that it will come back, but it will take hard work and determination. But if you focus on your consistency, you focus on your gradual building, and you focus on a renewed sense of purpose, lock something down, then it will come back and you'll be smiling again and you'll be enjoying your running. And if you need a little bit of help, then you can contact me in so many different ways. You can just drop me a comment on this video. You can email me. You can get in touch with me on Instagram. And if you want another level above that, maybe a more personalized approach, then check out my Patreon account. It's not something that I've set up where you can just donate me money for nothing, but it is a few different tiers of different levels of personalized coaching for someone who just maybe wants wants to chat some things through and you'll link with me on my Training Peaks account and I'll be able to see what you're up to and then I'll be able to give you feedback each month. And that starts at 20 pounds a month. It was just a way I could think of that I could give back and help in a more personalized way if people want it. But there's no hard sell from me. That's just there in case people want it. It honestly doesn't matter and I will always endeavor to get back to anyone that gets in touch with me about anything just so that we can all enjoy this crazy world of running and triathlon that we're all in and keep smiling. All right, I'll see you Tuesday.